call to order and good evening to everyone. Welcome to October 22nd, which we are today, I hope. Um, at this point, I wonder if Mr. Schneider. <laughs> I knew you were trying to get the pledge, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. You stand with the flag. Madam Secretary, could you call the roll, please? Please let the record show that all planning commissioners are present except for Commissioner McCann. All right, thank you. Moving on to approval of the minutes. Is there a motion? Move we accept the minutes as written. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Raise hand. Thank you. Okay, moving to B, public comments. Other than our, do we have anybody here other? We do not have any public comments left this okay. evening. Then I will skip that. As to the consent calendar, there are no items on the consent calendar, which we now will move to public hearing item number two, uh, sign program permit. SPP 18-0004 for the multi-tenant commercial building located at 34052 La Paz, La Paz Pacifica building. And I understand the applicant's agent is here. Um, and there are some recommendations that the Planning Commission adopt the attached draft resolution approving the sign program permit SPP 18-004 for the commercial building, again, located at 34052 La Plaza, which is the La Plaza Pacifica building. Um, we would like probably to get some information from staff before, uh, or would you, would you rather we have a... We're going to have a staff report now. Yeah. Nick, Nick Zorns will lead our staff report. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matt Schneider, and thank you, uh, Commissioner Murphy and fellow commissioners. Tonight's topic covers the establishment of a signed program for an existing commercial building known as the La Plaza Pacifica building within the city's town center area. This slide shows you the project location. The subject property is located at um, on the La Plaza Street in the town center district, just west of Golden Lantern. This slide shows the existing structure elevation prior to recent improvements that were completed summer 2018. Some additional photos of the existing structure prior to facade improvements. Improvements on the facade did include painting of the entire building, new roof, new lighting fixtures, and replacement of building fascia as needed due to weather, weathering of the uh, existing structure. Uh, this is an after photo of what we now can see today uh, presently of the building facade improvements. and some additional photos of the building facade post improvements. The current rendering represents the proposed uh, tenant identification wall signage. There are a possible um, 18 separate tenant identification signs locations proposed. All proposed tenant identification signs are to be located above the existing tenant entrances above this, um, around the site. Each tenant identification sign is allowed a maximum of 1.5 square feet of signage area um, above each entrance for a total of 27 square feet possible for the entire site for that particular sign. Uh, this will then be finished in a matte black finish. The current rendering represents the proposed tenant identification projecting signage. Um, 
there are a possible 21 separate tenant projecting signs locations all around the property. Each proposed uh, projecting sign is located adjacent to each tenant's entrance on site. The proposed projecting sign is mounted either to the soffit or the building facade. Each sign is allowed a maximum of three square feet for a total of 63 square feet for the entire site for this particular sign type. The tenant identification wall signs or suite IDs, um, there are a possible 22 separate tenant uh, suite identification signs uh, located around the property and each senate, uh, suite ID, excuse me, uh, sign is allowed a maximum of 2.8 square feet for a total of 61.6 square feet for the entire site. Fabricated on a aluminum plate finished in matte black finish and with white vinyl lettering for each individual tenant. Street address sign is what the current uh, rendering represents. There are two proposed street address signs on site, one facing the La Plaza Street near the main gathering space of the complex and one on the opposite side of the building facing Golden Lantern Street. Each sign is proposed at 5.75 square feet for a total of 11.5 square feet. The current rendering represents the proposed directory wall signage. There are two proposed directory signs on site, one, of, uh, one on the ground floor and one on the second floor main concourse area. Each directory sign is to be finished in a wood look, which will um, also indicate each individual tenant's name displayed within black lettering on the board. Each sign is to be 16.2 square feet for a total of 32.4 square feet for the site. Lighting will also, um, is already provided by gooseneck lighting, which already exists on the site. With that, in conclusion, staff finds that the proposed sign program would provide a visually attractive and consistent signage theme to the building. The signage would constitute as an enhancement to the overall building while providing signage opportunities for all tenants. Staff accordingly supports the proposed sign program and recommends approval of SPP 18-0004. Staff and the project applicant are present to respond to any questions of the commission. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, questions from the commissioners? Yes. A uh, quick question on the IDs, the tenant IDs. So there's a font call out in here, one specific font. And then in the rules, it talks about uh, not having distinctive font and no logo. So are we essentially, well, I guess the first question, is this a applicant requested or city requirement for that specific font? That is something that was fully proposed by the okay. applicant. So we don't have any type of rule <laughs> relative to having tenants use their own font on signs? No, as long as it's legible um, and okay. easily uh, to be viewed by the public. Okay. So this would be an applicant request, not a city requirement. Okay. Yes. Um, and then if you go to page four, this, it shows sign styles, but they're all different colors and fonts. And I, I don't know if they're just showing the sign type, the aluminum cut, um, but it's slightly confusing. Yeah, they're this not, is just all different font styles. Yeah, it's going to simply just be the individual mounted um, channel letters, okay. but non illuminated, just to give that, um, for instance, example. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. That was it. Thank you. All right. Any further questions from yes. Vice Chair? The um, total signage, what would be allowed there? Give me one moment. Uh, so for total for the site would be 184 square feet of signage. That's what's what's proposed? That is what? what is proposed as a maximum for the entire site. Now keep in mind there also might be some tenants that are either vacant or just repeat uh, tenant names because they have multiple entrances and they might not want to, you know, overbrand the building. <clears throat> so I guess my other question was, <clears throat> 
what is the maximum allowed in that for for this building? Is, is that it? So typically, without a sign program, you are allowed a one per linear foot is allowed one square foot. Uh, without a sign program, you're allowed up to 100 square feet. With a sign program, you're allowed to exceed that. Okay. The second question, um, on the existing building now, the Gold Coast financial sign, would that be gone then? Under yes. This program? All signage would actually be replaced as a part of this. Thank you. Would you like to ask some questions? I have no questions. All right. I have no questions. So then we'll need to go ahead and yeah. open um, the public hearing. Yes. We have a, if you would step forward. Thank you, sir. Hi. Good evening. My name is Alan. I'm with the ownership group. I actually didn't plan on speaking, but I uh, was here um, to answer any questions. But now that I am up here, um, just like to say that after we bought this building about a year ago, uh, we spent some money uh, updating the exterior, which we think fits the fabric of Dana Point. Um, we see kind of where uh, development is headed towards uh, in this town center plan, and we feel like what we've done thus far with this project represents it well. And tonight we're just hoping to uh, kind of finalize the finishing touches by updating this, uh, this signage program because we are currently operating, I believe, under a signage program that was finalized in 1986 or 1990. So it is a bit dated. So we are excited. Thank you. Um, any questions from the commissioners? Not so fast. <laughs> I, I do have one question. Sure. Um, what's your name, sir? I'm sorry. Sure, my name's Alan. Alan, thank you uh, uh, for coming in. Yeah. So on the signage, specifically on that, the tenant signage, you guys are good with a single font type? Yeah, and the, the goal with that was really um, to make it easy for us to, if there is any turnover in tenants, right. that we could maintain a very simple, clean signage program where we Perfect. could just slide Great. letters in and out. So, no problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? No? All right, then we will open it to discussion. Yep, we'll close the public hearing, and then um, you guys can discuss and vote. Yes, Commissioner? Yes, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, you know, first of all, thank you for what you guys have done there. I was there a couple of days ago, and it looks absolutely, it doesn't look like the same property. I mean, it feels almost brand new. I know it's not, but, you know, when I hadn't been there for several months, when I pulled in the, into that parking lot, that building stands out. Um, of all the buildings there, that's the best one. Um, and so we really, I appreciate what you guys have done there. I'm certainly in favor of this. This is just one more step in improving that property and these are the types of things we should absolutely be embracing and um, not notwithstanding the fact that it totally fits in with the character of the neighborhood, the building, the architecture, so I will be in full support and would offer a motion for approval. Okay. Is there a motion? Uh, I think the project is great. I think it's been a, su a super job and uh, as <clears throat> as you stated, I went to, went by there and uh, didn't recognize the building that the improvements have been made. So um, I fully support the project and uh, congratulate you on, on a, an excellent job. Um, and I will make a motion that we approve. I make, I make a motion. Well, I second it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to third that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, is, is everyone prepared to vote? <laughs> we can't take all this stuff away from you and then <laughs> forget how to raise our hand. <laughs> okay. So we, we do need a roll call vote. So I'm showing uh, all in favor. There were four votes for yes. yes. Uh, any votes for no? No. And then uh, Commissioner McCann is absent. So passes 4 0. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Went way too fast, <laughs> but it shows you what a wonderful product you have, and it, it truly is that. And it certainly has made that area right there in the plaza just sparkle a little bit and, and uh, 
something to be very proud of for Dana Point based on your, your efforts. Thank you, sir. Okay, then we are moving on to old business. There is no old business. New business, there is no new business. Staff reports. Mr. Schneider. Yes, I think um, at the last meeting I mentioned that the uh, November 12th meeting falls on Veterans Day and city offices will be closed that day. So um, we are recommending that that meeting be canceled. Um, in light of that, that leaves um, two meeting dates through the remainder of the year. Um, and if possible, we'd like to, to add an additional meeting um, based on your availability. Um, the next scheduled meeting, um, regularly scheduled meeting is November 26th. Mm -hmm. And we would recommend that we add a meeting on December 3rd. Um, as well as December 10th? Correct. This gives us the greatest flexibility and people's schedules tend to get uh, more impacted as we get closer to the holidays. Um, and with, we're trying to maximize between the Thanksgiving and, and Christmas holiday. So Monday the 12th is out though for November? Correct, because okay. city offices are closed that and day. So just to re recap, so we would be uh, allegedly attending on the 26th, the 3rd and the 10th? Correct. Okay. Does anyone else have a problem with those dates or a one of those dates? It's Hanukkah. Oh. But I don't celebrate, so it works for me. <laughs> Also, the ponies running it down at the park too. But <laughs> okay, um, if do you want to take a, a hand vote? Is it this acceptable with all of you? With the, I think we'd really just need a <laughs> nodding of heads, and if anybody has a problem, if not, we'll go ahead and take care of all the notices and whatnot. So okay. we're seeing general agreement through the nodding ahead. So we will add the we will cancel the November twelfth meeting. <laughs> And we will add a meeting on um, December 3rd. And just for the record, the uh, December 24th meeting, obviously, is Christmas Eve. City offices are closed, and we wouldn't have a regularly scheduled second meeting in December otherwise. Right. OK. That's all I had this evening. Thank you. All right. Um, all right. Commissioners, further comments? Uh, <laughs> anybody else would like to talk? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it then. I think we're adjourned. Thank you for, for everyone. Thank you for staff. I'm done. <laughs>